That's quite. Pay attention. Okay, let's go back to terminal voltage. Um, Hey, wasn't Kirchhoff the guy from Tarzan? Oh wait, that was Kerchak. Never mind. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's do the problem in the book, although I don't like doing the problem in the book. Let's do my problem, okay? Yeah, I like yours better. By the way, here's one thing that don't I'm gonna do this because that's the substitute. They put the internal resistor after the battery, okay? Okay, sounds good to me. That way you're at zero voltage when you come back to back. Does it make sense? Yes. Call that and let's do this. I will do a very and how let's do this. So you gotta do a little bit of work but not much. Don't make it hard. Uh 20 volts. I make this little R equals uh, one ohm. Guys, assume it's two C fix. I just don't want to write two point oh one, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so make this three ohms. And let's see, six ohms. Mr. Brandt, so the 20 volts, is that the voltage in the circuit or the voltage in the battery? That's the, that, that's the that's EMF. It, it's not the terminal voltage. We're going to get oh, that. All right. So let's do, let's do 8 ohms here. All right. This kind of stupid by itself out there. Uh, all right. So here's the question that we're going to do. I want to first, what a I total? B, uh, oh, you need REQ first, of course. And guys, when I write VAP, I mean, what's the terminal voltage? And this equals, well, we have we have a fundamental equation, we actually know. Where this is that, correct? I say this is that, I mean this is that. 37 plus. So, what's the. Is that strong? I don't know, I'm fixing the rhythm. It's a success right now. It's a wonderful life. So, that's what that's what I use it for. That's why you just kept it there this whole time. How long has that stuff been in here? Oh, man, since I've been here. Oh, shit. It belonged to the other physics teacher, you know, the other before I took over. Now, I was hoping you'd take it with you, of course, you didn't. Oh man. Guys, uh, can you do this on your own or you want, I, obviously you want me to do it with you, right? Wait, why? How much you can get, get as much as you can on your own, okay? I know you know how to get the, total, the, the REQ, that's easy to do. And then get the total current, then we'll, then we'll get the terminal voltage, okay? Now, I assume by now, guys, when I say terminal voltage, you conceptually know what I'm talking about, do you not? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright. Can you repeat it? Yes, I will. If you, every battery or power supply has a little bit of internal resistance, okay? Let's say it's 20 volts, it, it, it's your battery. But there's a little bit of in, in, internal resistance. And how much is that resistance in voltage? Let's say internal resistance is 1 ohm. And let's say your current is going to be 1 amp. V times IR is a voltage drop in internal resistance. Does that make sense? So 1 times 1 is 1, correct? So what you're saying is if your battery is 20 volts, but your inter internal resistance, the internal voltage drop due to your internal resistance one, meet the I times R, only 19 volts is available to the rest of the circuit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In my notes, I uh, wrote VC and VC. Can you tell me which one is which? Yeah, VC is going to be the voltage, that's, that's your terminal voltage, okay? Okay, and this is VAB. Yeah. Thank you. And you know what, I'm writing this VAB as my, myself right now. Mr. B, whenever we calculate REQ, do we just calculate the REQ of the circuit? Everything, everything. including the internal resistor. Is the little EMF thing, is it IR plus? Huh? Is, the, is it equal to IR plus, big IR? Is that minus? Or is it minus? I think it's plus. Oh, it's plus, it's plus, my goodness, yes. The REQ? Yes, this is plus, guys, my mistake. Plus. That's a plus, right? Yes. Yeah. Guys, make sure you have that plus. It's not minus. Thank you. Okay, so I need to. I'm gonna do it over here. The R E Q we include the little R, right? Huh? Yeah. The R E Q, yeah, includes everything. Alright, so 
let's get our IQ for that thing, then we'll, then we'll solve for it. What's 8 and 6 in parallel? 3.5. What did you say this was? 3.4. 3 .4. 3 .4. Did everybody get that? Yeah. You're just doing 1 of R plus 1 of R, right? That's the formula that you're using. I just don't want to do it. <coughs> All right, now the rest are in series, correct? Well, that's nice. So whenever we calculate the resistance total for this, we have to include the resistance in the battery? You have to. Voltage is the voltage used in the circuit, right, Mr. B? Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't your VAB automatically just be <coughs> your total voltage minus your internal resistance? Instead of all that. That's what that means. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, why not just, instead of the formula being that, why not just have VAB equals V? Well, it's true. E minus. This is what you're saying. E is your total voltage. There we go. Well, that's VAB. <coughs> yeah. With me? Yeah. Which okay. still got soft. Oh, yeah. okay. We still got soft for your total current, which yeah. is that thing right there. Yeah. Wait. Let, let me erase this, guys, because that, that's going to throw some people off. It's true, but this is IR, right? Which Wait, equals. Mr. Yeah. Ray, why do you need soft for your internal current? Your, your I. Because, because the internal current is the total current. Really? No, but see, like, dear, like conceptually, what you're solving for is the current, be, I mean, the voltage being used in the circuit, right? Right. And the voltage being used in the circuit is going to be your initial total voltage minus the voltage lost. Well, no, I, I'm solving for, for right? I, I got to use my current first. And then I get, I, once I get the current, I know what the current times the internal resistance is. I, sub, I just subtract that from the, the EMF to get the VAB, the terminal voltage. What's the I for? Well, I haven't got it yet. I'm, I'm going to. You with me? Yeah. Well, like conceptually, why doesn't what I'm saying work? What are you saying? To get your VAB, all you need to do is 20 volts minus 1 ohm. Because that's no, 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 no. You're saying E minus little r. Yeah. No, no, r is not voltage. I times r is voltage. Gotcha. All right. So, guys, we got our, well, what's 20 divided by 7.4? 7.7. Say it again. 3.7. 3.7 volts. No, yeah, I was going to say, something's wrong there. Uh, amps. All right. So now that I have a total current, uh, I've done this, this, now let's do that, right? So I just plug in there and you get your terminal voltage, which equals this. There's two ways to do this. You can do this minus this, or just do I times, oh, you don't have that R, do you? What is that R, by the way? We're going to do both ways. It's this plus this. You leave that out, don't you? Why? Because, because that one's little r and the other's just a Exactly. That's little r. Everything else is going to be big r. But having said that, you don't have to do it that way, do you? You can't just plug it into this, can't you? Yep. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm plugging in my total current right there, and the EMF minus IR gives me that. Do we have the EMF? Yeah. 20. The EMF is 20. All right, guys, so do this. This is going to be 20 minus I, which is going to be 2.7 times 1 equals IR, which equals your terminal voltage. So, therefore, no, that's obvious. So, it's going to be 17. Correct? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, guys. Here's what you're saying. All 20 volts is not available to the circuit. Only 17.3 volts of that's available. The rest is being chewed up in the battery itself. So E equals the volts? Yeah, the battery. 
So the current state is actually the whole thing, right? Yeah. Guys, that looks stupid, doesn't it? Uh, I'm going to pull that out because that looks like some idiot wrote it. And some idiot did write it, actually. Voila. <laughs> Dan. Sorry about that. Okay, is everybody good? So I think R equals B. So. Okay, so uh, E is always going to equal like your, like, like your total Even that, like, check, like the, uh, batteries. the batteries. Yeah. Even though it's measured in newtons and not volts? It's not measured in newtons. Then why do I have so many newtons? What do you got in newtons? I don't know. I don't know. I have a electric motive force. Yeah, that, and that's volts. That's volts. Yeah, but I haven't written down. I never put newtons on that. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I care. Yeah. Okay, so you're solving for a big R, big I, which is part of what is that? Like, yeah. what? Is that okay? Guys, look at this question right here, guys. This says the EMF, the voltage of the battery goes two places. One, the internal resistance, right? Yeah. The rest of the circuit is this, right? This R is not an REQ of the total circuit, is it? It, it is. REQ minus that, isn't it? You with me? All right. So therefore, that's the voltage to the rest of the battery. That's the, that's sucked up in the battery, isn't it? All the other is the voltage to the battery. Okay. So the internal resistor, even if it's just one ohm, it's going to have a different effect on the rest of the current, mm -hmm. depending on the other system. Yeah. Okay. So even if it's one ohm, it can take like one volt away from the rest of the circuit, or it can take like three point. It depends on the current. The bigger the current, the more voltage it takes away. Because V equals IR. Okay? So if it looks like half of O, but it increases the voltage. No, the lower your internal resistance, the less your, your voltage is being sucked up by the battery's resistance itself. What causes internal resistance? Uh, it, same thing as E resistance. Friction. <coughs> on a microscopic level. And sometimes on, on, on a chemical level. So could you say more little R? Little R is the internal resistance of the battery. They used to give it to you. Oh, Jesus. You that one Huh? Is that one second? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I've never seen a problem where you actually had to calculate it, although I'm, I'm sure the problem's like it. Okay, guys, everybody good? Now, I'm going to do Kirchhoff's rule, guys. So let's say we have a, a multiple circuit battery with multiple EMFs, multiple batteries, multiple power supplies in those two circuits, okay? Or in the two loops. In other words, uh, everybody get a white book. Get a white book. I want to show you how still solve it, couldn't we? What well, if there's two? We use Kirchhoff's rules and you have the kind of situation, okay? So what we're going to do is, guys, so that's the situation that we're working with right now. Write down Kirchhoff's rules to solve these kind of problems. And I'll get them up on the board in just a second. Kirchhoff's rules. Write those down, guys. Kirchhoff's rules. Can they give us guidelines for determining what circuits to do first and such? For determining what? For determining which series and such to do. Never mind. Oh, yeah, you'll get I guarantee you. Yeah. You actually probably like this. It's fairly, once you understand what's going, it's fairly easy. Oh, Mr. Brandt, this entire chapter is so much easier than the last one. Uh, conception makes sense to you guys, but you guys are naturally better circuitry, though. I don't know why, but you are. But, but, but you're not going to line up parts of this, uh, this kind of stuff because it's tedious. 
Yeah, that is true. This stuff. We're not going to like what? Well, the oral fiction, dude, part the, the, uh, some, it's just tedious. It's not hard. It's tedious. Yeah, it really is. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, Michael. Would you say that it all connects? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a pun? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't know. I'm sorry. I guess. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Get them written down. Who's not here today, guys? Yeah. She's coming? Is she coming to you now? <laughs> when did she get out of that place? i got to find what's going on because a half hour and that's not good. Because if she's getting out and getting something to eat, you know, sitting at a restaurant for 20 minutes, that doesn't work. Wait, Mr. Brand, so it doesn't say on your schedule whether you have an LC class or something like that? No, it says, but I, I, I don't know the time she gets out. Oh, so like but I, I, will find say, out. I could say, oh, I have an LC class and it's like showing up, like whatever. Oh, that will show up, the LC class. The time they get uh, out does not show up. Once again, I will find out. You oh, know I me. could do that then. I'm a regular jerk, huh? Oh, they're all. Why would I show up? I only have two classes. Are they measured? Oh, they measure. Oh, they measure. Oh, they measure. Oh, you don't have cranes and like resistance. Do I need measure like resistance and voltage? Oh, yeah, it is. It's put a put a a voltage on it. Check the current. You know the resistance. Power supply. Why did you tell me that there's all kinds of ways to calibrate your power supply? You know what I mean? And I guess it's like. Here's what you're asking. Every electronic instrument in the world. Is such that some, some or, you know, there, there's, there's an uncertainty, right? But you have to bet on the summer in real life, don't you? Do you Otherwise, you leave. I mean, you check the, you have a pressure gauge in your top. How do you know that's right? Check it out. You hope it is. And sometimes they're not valuable and you make mistakes. Power supply. Yeah, I know. That happens in my love. We went to love it. <laughs> <laughs> we had a blowout. That's we not good. We managed to pull in Dollar General. Yeah. And we go to look for the Jazz. And ECISD didn't give us a jack or jumper cables. Well, I'm um, okay. I'm gonna find yeah, waiting this up. I believe you. When the camera turns off, I'll say something else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, do you have written down? <laughs> I'm surprised, though, that the people who are in charge of transportation. Transportation will send you out with people without that. Now that's a, a major oversight. Yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did. That, that was the most angry I had ever seen. I got one more professor, Mr. Cobb. So. Yeah. 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 Okay, is everybody ready? Yep. All right, guys. Uh, these just have to do with how we're going to solve those kind of problems, okay? Now, what makes me mad is that I need to write the thing back down here. I need two smart words, what I need, and I don't have them. But then you need, need two projectors. Uh, yeah. No, if I have to, I will buy it. I want it. I want to get a high definition in focus. All right, over that last year, though. Because when I'm going, you guys are going to have lectures. Me. <laughs> and I'll explain to a few a few of you guys before I go, right? So when I'm going, we will not skip a beat. The homework will be turned in. I think you said that every year. Yeah, you, yeah, you oh, said that last year. First year, I don't care about it. Second year, that I care about. You know what I mean? But you I guys are you, you're, you're, up against, you're up against the test. What's first year up against the test? Like, they're not going to pass it, right? <laughs> okay, guys, let's do the, now let's write the circle on the board. Are they taking a slide, though? Do what? I think the sophomores are taking, so his next I'm glad they made this class will take the star. Because yeah. I mean, the teachers are going to start teaching. Well, I got sophomores from. Are they making the same? Yeah. Kids are just going to steal. Otherwise, that would be correct. Everybody just. I didn't realize you had software. Uh, I got a separate up for some reason. Go push yeah. a lot of the teachers to move faster. And stuff. It's fast. Show them the <laughs> Like this August is going to be a lot better the first couple of years. Guys, we riding. Are you doing the one that's in the book? I am. Alrighty. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you what he's
boom, 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 boom. I think that's got them all. We'll worry about the A, B, and C stuff tomorrow. We won't have time to get it that today. It's not the main thing anyway, but it is important. All right, there's our circuit. And we're going to find the currents in all those branches, the Kirch off rolls. I mean, all this means is, is a power supply. It may be a battery, it may be, it, it is a voltage source. Mm -hmm. How much volts is enough to kill you? Well, it also depends upon the resistance, right? Because the, the, the less resistance, the more current. And it's not stronger. Uh, my, but in, in the electric chair, I think you use like 50,000 or better. And, 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 and if you put, you know, water on the, like they did in the green mop, you make sure there's good current there, right? Good, yeah. 50,000 is enough, I think. So if it's not, you can always up it. Mm. Oh, speaking of that, did you know that he, he died recently? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think he's hard trouble. He's a big guy. Really? Michael Clark. Uh, that. Michael Clark. Yeah. yeah. When do you get out of OC? When's that class end? That's reasonable. I just want to get on your case for a minute there. All right. Okay, guys, does everybody have this? We're, we're going to apply Kirchhoff's rules as they can solve the, uh, the currents. Can we just refer to it as Kirchhoff? Yeah, you can do what you want to do. All right. Guys, is everybody ready? Now look at this. How many different currents are there in the state, by the way? How many different branches? There's really three. Because think about it. Now, either, either, here's what I'm going to guess. And you always have to guess which direction the currents are going, okay? Let me say it again. You have to guess. It's usually an educated guess, but, but how the currents are moving, okay? If you're wrong, let's say I have this current going that way, it's really going that way. When you do the equation, the answer will come out negative for that current. What it says is your answer is right, you had the wrong direction. You hear what I said? When you solve for like this current right here, if it comes out negative, that means you, the amount's correct, it's just going the wrong direction, okay? All right. Wait, Mr. Brent. So are these not like, so how is this working like, so, you have two separate batteries, mm -hmm. right? And so your current's always going to go from positive to negative. <laughs> Not necessarily, but but you can have, have situations where batteries are, are opposing each other. And I, I'm going to go into that in just a minute, but let's get this one, okay? I'm guessing this current's going that way, that current's going that way, right? Yeah. So that's the case then. Right here, uh, this current's coming this way. I'm going to call that I, uh, what does the book call it? I want I three. I three. I wouldn't have done that, but anyway. And I'm guessing then this current, this is the big battery, right? So this current's probably going that It's not going the wrong way through the battery, because it's the big, or, or the power supply. What does the book call that? I take you. And that means, if that's the case, uh, look, this current is going that way and that way here, isn't it? And I'm guessing that it's going to go right here. In other words, I don't guess the battery's going, it's going this way. You with me? I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I'm guessing that's I1. No, no, no it has to go the other way. They have the other way? It has going off yeah. around the corner. I don't think so. It doesn't matter, by the way. If I'm wrong, the answer will be negative. Are you with me? Is that clear? Let, let me think about that. No, no, no. It's going to go that way. I think what they're doing is they're illustrating the point. They intentionally guessed wrong. Do they illustrate it? Are you with me? Yeah, because they got negative. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. You follow me? Yeah, uh, So if it's going to be off, if, if, like, if I want it, it's going up, it's because, because like breaks up at the What? Well, sure. In other words, the cur this current can go that way or that way, right? Yeah. It could do both. Some goes that way, some goes that way. But <coughs> I'm guessing the cur this current goes in and in and it comes out there. You with me? So what, what current is running through that top part? Oh, look. Oh, it's coming from the bottom of the 80 volt, right? I I going up I3 way. is also right here, is it not? Yes. yes. I3 is also this here, right? This is what? I1. Right? Okay. So I2 splits I into I1 and I3 at that exactly. time. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So really, okay. <laughs> now I want you to look at it. Once you guys, if I'm wrong, there's no big deal. But you, the only thing you can't guess is this. You can't say this goes in, that goes in, that goes in. It doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah, because it all makes sense. There has to be some current coming up and some going in. Can the, the smaller batteries complete the circuit without 
without going to the bigger gathering? Or does it have to go? Uh, to it's the possible. Because if it was, if it could complete it by itself, couldn't it just go around the top? It, it is possible, but it usually doesn't happen. Okay? Okay, guys. So that's what I'm guessing, okay? And, and it, I, I've seen those surges. Yeah, it's true. Mr. Brent, what causes a surge, uh, the chart, the current to always go back to the battery? Like, what's the pull? Where else is it going to go? You, well, I mean, you can just have it running on a loop near the top or something, you know, like. What, 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 oh, the, the, no, what's causing it to move? There's got to be a voltage to fly something, or it doesn't move on its own. Unless you, it's, it's a miracle if it does. So what happens if you have a broken circuit? What happens if the charge it just gets expelled, the voltage? It has to go, it, 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 if it connects to ground, but if it doesn't, it just doesn't do anything. It is this that shows? Yeah. You have to connect, you have to have a circuit to have a current. Mm. All right, guys are ready. Now, and once, I always say the one thing you have to watch out for, you can't have currents going, all going in or going out at a junction, can you? It doesn't make sense, is everybody clear? Now, so I'm a solver. I one, I two, and I three wait, using wait, these rules here. Brad, what do you mean, like it all has to like go in and out? Not, it, it can't. In other words, what if I did this at, at a junction? Here's a junction, okay? If I did this, 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 is that possible? No. 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 One has to be coming out. Two has to be coming out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one. In other words, you can do any guessing that you want here. Just make sure you don't do this, or they're all coming out either one. It doesn't work. You with me? If all right, guys. Coming out is what they do in the book, right? No, 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 no. E even in the book, they had at least one coming out. <laughs> you have to have at least one going in, one coming out. Mr. Brandt, so if you flip that inner, the right arrow to the left, would that have been okay? Like yes. It connected and then moved. If you did this, that's kosher. Okay. Okay. All right. If you did this going up, that would be okay. You got one coming in and one going out at least. Does that have nothing to do with the one on the right side going in the direction? You know, on the right side, like right next to you? What about? Does that have anything to do with that one? Well, sure. This one's that one because we're, there's no place to, to veer off in between here and here, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing, guys, you see that? <coughs> you have three currents here. One here, one here, one here. Three from values, don't you? Right? Because when you go to a junction, currents usually change, don't they? It's because it's parallel, right? No. Well, I, yeah, I suppose so, but you have junctions. When you have a junction, currents change, don't they? The only thing that's true is currents going into a junction, must equal currents coming out of a junction. Okay, so, gotcha. Mr. Brown, so I1 goes all the way around, like on the outside? I want goes from here to here. Here, going in, coming out, right? Going in, coming out. Therefore, that current's not that current, is it? No, I1 plus I3 equals I2. Yeah. Yes. In that case, this, excuse me, this plus this equals this, doesn't it? Yep. Also, this plus this equals this. Going in, coming out. Yep. Which means that by Kirchhoff's rules. It's the first one. The five 